guys, Silverplayer22 here, bringing you another Team of the Season Silver Player review. Today we're going to be looking at Thomas Lamar, but before we get into him, I, I was supposed to have a video out yesterday. It was about 50% through uploading, and unfortunately our internet cut out and has only just come back on, you know, early this morning. So, uh, sorry about that. It was meant to be that Advin Cooler, the, the right back who is from... Uh, I can't remember what country he's from. I think he's from Paraguay, that's the one. And that will be up later today, so look forward to that because he's a little bit of a special player. But a special player we're going to be talking about today, Thomas Lamar, who has had a great season for Monaco. I've actually watched this guy quite a lot. Now, he's, he's, he's not scored that many and he's not assisted that many, but it doesn't really explain how good he's been. He's had a phenomenal season. Monaco are quite... A sort of a quite a defensively minded team and this guy is the absolute you know he's the heart of their attack and his card stats look awesome 86 pace 83 dribbling 74 shooting 80 passing that is one super well-rounded card cost me 114k but i wanted to get him out really early because i love the french league and i thought this guy looks awesome and yeah, he'll drop a lot. I think he'll probably drop to about 80k or so. Look at those mental and physical stats. Okay, taking out of account the strength, this guy has some of the most well-rounded mental and physical stats we have seen. 87 agility, 86 acceleration. Wow, it's just awesome. 93 crossing, 84 dribbling, decent finishing, good shot power. Not the greatest long shots, I'll admit that. Even his defensive side isn't too bad. Slide tackle's pretty solid. Only two-star weak foot and three-star skill moves, which are a little bit disappointing, I guess. Medium, medium work rates, and he's primarily a right mid. Now, let's get into talking about this guy. His long shots aren't the greatest, okay? His weak foot does let him down sometimes. He's, he's not the strongest. Um, you know, his, his reactions are quite low, so sometimes he'll be in front of the goalkeeper and he just won't react quick enough to put it in the net. And yeah, so all those a little bit disappointing. But now let's swap the review up a little bit because this guy is arguably one of my favourite players from any FIFA I have ever used. He is fast. He is consistently great at passing. He picks out some of the best passes I have seen. Okay? He's... He his dribbling is in absolutely amazing. I don't think I've used anyone that with this good as dribbling this year. And, like, I've used some amazing dribblers. Like, yeah, you'd say Farias was close and stuff. Maybe they are the same, but... I would say Lamar was as good as anyone, and he's just so much fun. You can just literally run at people, and a combination of his no-touch dribbling, his incredible balance, and in his just ability to just sort of drift round players at speed. He seems to dribble as quickly at speed, um, as um, sorry, as amazingly at speed as he does when he's sort of going a little bit slower. He is absolutely insane. He can just get round anyone. I'm going up against, you know, Koscielny. You know, I came up against some legend defences, and he's just going round them like, the, you know, the bronze, bronze centre-backs. Absolutely loved him. And coming to something else... He is prime. He's he's originally a right mid, and you can tell that. But it's not detrimental to him playing at cam. But if you want to play him at the like you know in a sort of winging role is like four two two two. His crossing is some of the best crossing I've used on any player, regardless of whether they're silver or not. Really good finishing when you can actually get him going. And I just I can't describe how much I enjoy this guy. I, I it's just. He was just absolutely phenomenal for me. He definitely feels like the highest rated player I've used as far as silvers go. 82 and 83 rated. I've said a 52, 80k price tag would be would be fair. And that's purely because I think silvers are a little bit too expensive sometimes just because enough silver packs aren't opened. But I think uh, um, 50 to 80k doesn't necessarily represent it. But I think I, all I'm saying is he is amongst the top silver players you can use. And, and for that reason, I've given him one of the highest scores I've given out this year and possibly the whole time I've been using FIFA. 9.3 out of 10. Can't describe to you how much I enjoy this guy. I really hope people go out and buy him and let me know what you think. And yeah, I really enjoyed doing this review, as you can probably tell by the fact that I'm so excited. And yeah, anyway, for end chat today, guys, which other YouTube channels do you like? I'd love to know sort of what you guys are interested in. Do you like other FIFA videos, I'll let you know in the comments below which other videos I like. I like a real variety of different channels that other FIFA channels I like, you know, well, you'll have to wait and see in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Cheers, guys.